All right, here we've got our pan. Turkey's removed. A few of the veggies that fell out are removed and already nibbled on. They're delicious. Right now we're going through and we are just making sure all of those bits of meat and drippings that are stuck to the bottom are all cleared. We're going to take our uh, separator, which we haven't had in ages, and uh, go ahead. We got a brand new one today. We're going to go ahead and check it out again. So obviously you want to separate it out. This is nice. It's got a strainer. Because you want your bits. I may need a bigger one anyway. I cannot tell you how good this smells right now. This is... We only put one stick of butter in. We don't put water or anything else. It's only half a stick. Okay, half a stick. We normally put a whole stick. It was a small bird, though. Looky there. And then you're going to let this sit. Yeah. You know, about 10 minutes or so. You can already see it's starting to separate. Your oil is lighter, so it rises to the top. The rest is water. You pour off your water. You're going to have your measured amount of fat. And you do equal parts of fat to flour. I'll get my roux stirred up once we have this set and poured off. We, we know about how much it's going to be. But if we need more, we'll add a little more flour. Right. So we're going to let this sit and separate. And we'll show you our our gravy. Don't forget to scrape up all your yummies off the bottom. You want all that. By the way, it's red, not because of the pan. That's from all that cayenne. Okay, so here we've got our strainer. You can see that it has separated out the fat from the broth and the juices. It, it did? <laughs> I, I thought, you know. They have separated. I thought chemistry and physics did. You know, yeah. The way the Lord set it all up. We oil have, separated. the oil is separated. We have just shy of one cup of fats at the top. Close enough. Close enough, plus we'll add the. You count You count this because it'll keep, to, it'll keep rendering when you brown it. Right, it'll break down. So we're gonna count that too, and that'll make our cup, and I have one cup measured flour in the pan, so we're perfect. What we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to drain off all of the broth, so I have access to the fat to make the roux. And you can see, you normally keep this broth for your... We'll add the broth back in for the gravy. Stop or just before it starts... Yeah, that's close enough. Alright. It's okay if you have a little broth in your room. It's not right. going to hurt anything. So you just add it to the, the flour. You get your heat on high. Yep. Dump it in. A whole lot of whisking and stirring until you get a nice deep brown color, a nice thick roux. It'll get real thick and then it'll break down and get almost liquidy. And then when it's just right, we'll add that juice back in, the broth back in, and finish off the gravy. Make sure you have a high flame. If you don't have quite enough grease, it's okay. Supplement a little bit of butter. Don't don't get all health conscious when you're making a gravy. Use butter, not margarine. Lard's okay, but I'll tell you, butter tastes much better. Yeah, oil in a pinch. Unsalted. Now this is making a roux. You're gonna want to stir that real slow 
over your heat until it gets to the color that you want. Then you'll add your liquid. This is a real good ratio right now. We're, we're thick, we're kind of clumpy, and as it cooks and heats, it'll soften, it'll uh, get a little liquidy. Yeah, we're not doing uh, a stuffing. So instead of just using water, we're actually gonna use the, the water or the runoff that we just strained out. So we'll cut to that. All right, we didn't have quite enough fat, that's okay. You can always add more, but this is as dark as we want it anyway. Like we said, we're gonna just use the, the water that's separated from the turkey. And as soon as you put it in, it's gonna seize. We'll put it in quick. And just stir it. Don't worry about any clumps at this point. Keep stirring, they will blend in. If it's too runny, you can always add a little bit of corn starch. If it's too thick or lumpy, add a little bit of water or chicken stock or something until the lumps go away, a little bit at a time. You can also just keep cooking it down and it'll thicken up too. At this point, you definitely want to turn your heat down a little from that high, high flame. You still want a nice medium flame. You just don't need it full heat. And as you can see, it is thickening. Real fast. And smoothing out fast. You'll want to taste it, adjust any seasonings, add salt or pepper, etc. Uh, yeah. That's we got looking good. Out there that doesn't like spicy, but they still eat this. You see that thickness? That's gravy. And it is actually smooth. Those little lumps you see are the, the bits of the turkey and the fat. All right, so turn off your heat. It's done. You want it to, I forget what it's called, but you want it to stick to the back of your spoon. You just kind of do that. Nice coat. Even when you yeah, that's a nice thick gravy. Let me tell you, it's going to taste good too. So I think that's about it. Oh. You don't get that recipe. <laughs> Not this time anyway. So I hope that you enjoy and you like, like this gravy too. And try it. It's good for you. Lots of fat. <laughs> Be a cloud watcher.